Maybe on his way down a little bit, to be honest, but just a couple of years ago, he was in fantastic form. It's going to be interesting to see if he's making a push for the Olympics now and Olympic trials. Oh. Since I remember only one, one um, month away, almost, in the middle of April, the same European Olympic qualification. So obviously for him, preparation maybe starts Eight, with this event. Four. So, um, Interesting to see him in the court, obviously. They could have opted to play perhaps Kriyanga, but uh, I'm sure he wants to play matches. That's the way he is improving his game. He's playing the quick three oh. as well. He's playing in position A. The quick three basically means he plays the fourth game. Seven, four. Skilled shot, skillful shot pick it up with his backhand and turn it over on the net. Oh. Both players toweling down, they're fully entitled to do so every six points. It's a rule change quite a few years ago now that was introduced. Players were toweling down every point to have a break tactically. Now they're only allowed to towel down every six points, unless, of course, there is sweat on the back, sweat on the table. Fort nine. So, Jonas now just putting a, a run of four or five points together. Heavy there, good use of the wrist. Ten, five. The right idea from the defender, or the defentist, I should say, turning defence into attack. Five. First game, game. Yoni. to Greece, Jonas wins, 11 points to 5, we'll be back very soon. Jonas jogging out to the table. He's keen to get going. Second game. It's great to see a player, 36 years of age, still highly no motivated, no. putting himself forward here, playing the quick two, playing in the A position, first game on and the fourth game on. One love. Quite interesting, the, the, the Greek team actually, I've been around them a few years ago with success in the European Championships and in the, in the team event, coming together, playing extremely well as a team with Papa Georgiou also delivering uh, a oh. higher ranked player and Gionis and Kianga and all these things. It was interesting to see the coaching in between here and Gionis stay motivated, you know, uh, like that. So it's kind of nice to see the respect also to, to play for your national team. And that's something a lot of young players today are, should learn. Two. One, two. I mean, you put yourself um, out there, and, and we talked about a lot about world ranking, how it affects your your, your individual status within t table tennis. But uh, it's fun to see you your oh. result there in the court. Yeah, I agree, Michael. From what I've I've not seen as much of the Greek team as you have, but they always seem to have a very good team spirit. 
Adriang is down there supporting Giannis. Good start by the out. He's now leading 3 2. Jonas with his second serve in this sequence of two coming up. Three all. Having a little problem with that high balance. Uh, as soon as Jonas is turning it over with his forearm side. Not the full swing, not the full top spin, but just turning the ball over and it's a high arc and it's kind of bouncing high on, on the hour and missed a few of those. Come on, come on. Okay, three, four. Heavy back spin off the pimpled surface using the wrist. You can see the pimple surface on the red side. Three, five, three. Side spin with back spin, using side spin sometimes when he top spins. Has a good return of serve. The serve drifted long. Liao very quick to pounce on the opportunity. Attacked it hard. Solid technical skills, uh, Liao, so far. Nothing to complain really about uh, anything of his moves and so on. It's just a question of maybe uh, in a match like this, learning to do the spin and be. The make good decisions. He showed that he can also open and keep the ball going against the backspin. It's a question of patience and uh, learning how to score the points. where it goes down the line uh, around the corner which is also as you say many, many times difficult it's a shorter um, you don't have too much to play on actually and you also open up the table uh, wide open if there's a return on that top spin. Eight, five. Jonas leads. Oh, great retrieving by Jonas. The Greek bench on their feet. Wonderful entertainment. We had the pleasure this morning, Michael, of commentating the Korea Republic and Josie Hook and now another world class defensive player I think we've seen the best two in the world today on this I table agree. I agree, we have seen the, the two best defenders in this, this particular court also so today in Malaysia no, be honest, he's also an entertaining player he's very solid on certain distances and, and keeps the ball on the, feet, on the table Ten, six. Four game points for Panagiotis Dionis. Oh, 
Levin the long back cut off the end of the table Johnny. from the out. And Gionis takes the second game, 11-7, and leads by two games to nil. We'll be back very soon. is now ready to start or at least almost ready Again. to start the third game the umpire now calling them to the table and it is Come Liao on. of Chinese Taipei with the serve Lot one. Again it was that top spin down the line Heavy backspin, the ball fizzing with backspin from the bat of Gionis. And a little discouraged also now, <laughs> head down a li little bit, but, but you know, patience is the key, key against the defender. And that, that down the line risk shot uh, that is made a few Two, times that has not been successful, that's um, also a little bit of a difference. But um, just keep the ball going and, and a little bit more variation perhaps on the, on the opening shots, important. And they found a good angle on that four on top spin. But he has a mountain to climb now, uh, down 2-0 against a solid defender. You know how much work you have to put in uh, from a physical point of view also to, to turn this match around. So. Two, three. And it's even harder in a match that doesn't mean a whole lot also. So. Nerves are not really present in, in that sense that we can feel that Johannes will get nervous. He's pretty cool and composed at the moment. Three all. I have to say, really impressed with Johannes's attitude to this match. Senior pro, been around a long time. Played in the World Championships in Manchester in 1997. And yet here he is in the game, as you say, Michael, not a great deal of stake. It's still prestigious, but they'll be playing for positions 13 to 24, whatever happens in this match. But here he is, perfect, perfect professional player. It's interesting how he came into the European scene also as a young young player in Europe with so many competitions. It's not an easy world to be a defensive young oh. defensive player in Europe. You have to really grind it out and came into the professional Three, club system of course played in France for many years. I'm not sure if he still does, I believe so, but uh, uh, combining with and I met him I think three years ago at European Championship. I asked him, you're playing very well, where do you practice? I practice in Greece. <laughs> Obviously, on a daily basis with Kriyanga and Papa Georgiou and so on. Against players who are good against the style. So, yeah. that gives for, for him solid practice and then playing himself into form in many competitions. So, timeout called by the coach of Chinese Taipei. Who is quite a good player in his time. Chang Peng Lung. Yeah. 
discussion when I was commentating with Chilled about <laughs> being a top player is it an advantage then to become a top coach we were commentating on the China match and Kong Ning Hui was the coach Olympic champion Commonwealth champion she asked me the question sorry Olympic champion and world champion um, so I think it's, it's 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 one of the facets that is an advantage but there's lots of other sides to being a top coach a world class coach I agree, but one, one point where they make a difference, though, I think, is, is in, in, in the actual match coaching. Uh, I, I see many, many, especially if you go back to the great Swedes, Jürgen Persson, you know, the Wallner, that they kind of prefer to be involved in, in match situations there where they think they can add a lot of things. And obviously, they have opinions about everything, but uh, that's just the situation. Uh, but to do the, the coach work is a, it's a grinding work in the in the training yeah, hall oh. this, these days, and I'm, I'm kind of worried for the the profession as such, in, especially in Europe, where money is a little down for the moment in the sport, and that will affect a, a lot of things, and in fact, for the for recruiting young coaches who wants to go all in for coaching. Or eight. So, um, it's not always a, it's a grinding work in the training hall. <laughs> That's my point, and you know that. <laughs> That's where the hard work's done, isn't it? You go in the training hall, you know you're going to be in there for another six hours. This is the exciting stuff when you sit in the corner and advise at the World Championships. The adrenaline's going, it's wonderful. Oh, and Giannis nice. continues to dominate this match. He now leads 9-4 in the third game. Another shot of the day. <laughs> Can we get the two or three going to for this this particular day? Matt Pound, ITDF media coordinator. I'm sure he's selecting them. He's keeping control of. We're Russia. having a little joke among the commentators about the point of the day. And Michael and I thought Josie Hook had some great points this morning, and a little bit of a competition going among ourselves. Yeah, and that was an incredible eight, point. And and it set up 11-4 victory One in the third game. And Gionis wins by three games to nil, 11-5, 11-7, 11-4. A comfortable victory, and Greece now lead by one match to nil. And we'll be back in a few minutes for the second match. Thank you. 